Dave here at Russo's RV in Lakeville, Mass. Today's an exciting day because we're looking at our first 2024 Rockwood Geo Pro. The model change has happened. We have all the info on the 2024 Geo. I'm gonna go over, hit on the main points, what's different, what's the same, what are some things that I'm excited about for 2024. And we're just gonna do the usual, gonna go around the unit, check out the inside, and I'm just gonna hit on these points as we go along. Again, this is a 2024 Geo. This is the 20BHS model with the bunks and the dinette slide. We got one slide out on this model. We're gonna check that out with the slide topper. Two bunk beds. They've made some changes in the bathroom. They got some new features. Really excited to show you what's up. All right, let's take a look. First thing to make note of is the exterior. Not a huge difference from the 2023s, but there's a slight change in the tone of the fiberglass. This is not just pure white. It's a slightly gray exterior. They wanted to differentiate the Geo Pro from other copycat brands out there, from past year Geo Pros. Um, when you see it in person, you probably see it a little bit different, especially if you put one Geo next to another one. The decals are slightly different, but the fiberglass tone is uh, the main difference here. So you're gonna tell immediately if you're looking at a 2024 or a 2023 or prior Geo Pro. Rockwood is keeping the front automotive grade windshield, same docking lights as in previous years. We got two propane bottles, 20 pound bottles, power jack. This is the power jack to match the ones on the mini lights from previous years, but basically the same as, as last year's model. They kept the very clever setup for the chains and the seven way round. The first major change from the 2023 to the 2024 is the stabilizer jack. So they're getting away from the scissor jacks that you've seen before. And now we got this truss style and they're calling this the uh, quick drop, drop stabilizer because when you're setting it up, you actually can pull this little tab here and you can drop this part lower so it drops a little quicker than if you just had to crank it down yourself. But just like I've said, a lot of other videos, three quarter inch socket on a cordless drill, really quick work of this. The reason they're going to this style, two big reasons. One, uh, it was too easy to bend those uh, scissor jacks and that was happening a lot. People are having to replace those jacks. Um, also, they're having issues with them rusting out pretty quickly. So this new style is a little more sturdy. It should last longer, a little beefier than what we've seen before. So. Hopefully this is a good change. I think it is gonna be a good change in the 2024s and onward. Next big change might seem like a little change at first, but from someone who has a lot of experience opening and closing cabinet doors, let me tell you, this is a huge, of course, magnet latch. It's always been there, it's still there, fantastic. But here's the difference right here. Slam latch compartment doors. No longer, you're gonna to have to stick your key in, push the door in a little bit, try to turn that little metal tab to lock it. No, now easy open. Opens real easy, closes real easy. That's gonna make a big difference. On a stressful day, you don't wanna deal with one more thing. A lot easier, a lot easier to open and close those, lock those. And the key alike system is the same as previous years, last few years, so it's the same key as the entry door. Pass-through storage on this 20 BHS, you can see, um, this is a little preview of another thing that's changing. Uh, I'll go over that in a second, but griddle, 30 amp cord in that bag over there. Nice pass-through storage. They've kept the same water heater, six gallon gas electric. Probably gonna hear rumors about a um, tankless water heater and they are providing that. They're kind of testing it out on one of the small geos that they're coming out, out with. But for, for now, for 2024, expect to see these six gallon gas electric water heaters. Slide topper is an option on the geos with slides. We always get them. Anytime we get a stock unit, we always like the slide topper. It just makes sense. Protect the slide from debris, from water. Um, very practical, not that expensive, um, worth every penny, in my opinion. Always get that slide topper. On this model, you got windows, not only windows, but windows that open. A lot of times other brands, you're gonna see a slide with no windows or a window that doesn't open on the Geo Pro on this 20 BHS. Both sides of the dinette open up, get a nice cross breeze. Plus you got the window right there and you add the max air fan in the bathroom, circulates a ton of air. It's gonna make a nice breeze on a beautiful day like today. 
Westlake tires, 15 inch, as in previous years. Same axle setup, torsion Torflex axles, independent suspension, tank heaters. You can see the spare hanging over there. On this 20 BHS, you got one, um, one sewer outlet, gray on the left, black on the right. At the bottom bunk, there is the outside, this little half door. So you can quickly access your storage in the corner there. And if you want additional storage, you just push this bed up and lock it into place and you get more storage on that. Ladder, standard, 250 pound rated. They've also kept the receiver in the back, 300 pounds for a bike carrier or for a storage rack. So instead of outside showers, which you will not see on any 2024 Geos, it's all gonna go to this spray port. Still hot and cold, you have the nozzle here, but instead of that uh, shower that you're probably used to seeing on a lot of other RVs out there, it's just gonna be this. I think this is more practical. I think this is more application uh, for rinsing. I don't think a lot of people are actually taking showers outside. I think it was mostly rinsing things off. So I think this is very practical. I like this change. So gas griddle, table, those are the same as in 2023. They're gonna mount on the side there. Gas hooks up underneath, connects to the two 20 pound bottles up front. Awning comes out eight feet, still same awning as previous years. One change is the entry door. In the past, Geos have always come with a keyless entry in, in addition to the regular um, you know, regular latch and then the deadbolt latch, they had the keyless entry pad underneath, but there's just too many issues with those. Um, a lot of user issues, people are kind of getting confused by them, forgetting code, stuff like that. Just too many uh, headaches really. So they just switched to the simple uh, and I'm really happy to see this. I think this is great. Just keep it simple, just like that. Don't need the keyless entry. Um, Let's just keep it simple, I love it. So that's new in 2024 as well. Just wanna give you another shot of the outside. You can see the new graphic trim, the look of it. Take a quick look at the roof. As a dealer, we decided that on our stock geos, we're just gonna get two solar panels. We're gonna get the, the option for a second. So they're all gonna have 400 watts of solar. On this model, I know for a fact that you can request if you're gonna special order this model, you can get a third solar panel. And the solar controller in there is set up for up to 600 watts, so it can handle it. That's what you see on the power package. So we just figure, if you're buying a Geo, you're probably gonna want that solar. We just get the two, get the two 200 watt panels. Another change for 2024, they've changed out the antenna. This is a WineGuard 360, and you can purchase 5G wireless um, through your carrier, and you can look into, the, look into that. Um, how that's done, but it's gonna be, I think, a monthly plan to get wireless uh, into the camper. I think it's pretty good. I like that they got rid of the Wi-Fi booster, but I think the potential upside of this one is, is much greater. Let's head inside. Every Geo interior is going to look like this. These colors, this style of flooring, cabinet colors, furniture colors, all gonna have this look to them. Nice light, of course, they kept it light. That makes a lot of sense in a small camper like this. You wanna keep it light, keep it bright. Uh, it's a great idea. This is your main bed here. In addition to the two bunks, you have the bunks in the corner with a ladder, comes from the factory with a ladder that you can see on the top bunk that sets up there. The dinette also converts to a bed. And speaking of this dinette, I love this kind of setup. When you see this, we get the one pole and then you get the brackets on the wall. In my experience, this is the most secure of all the different setups. Beats two poles. I think it beats three poles. Like when you have three poles, it beats the freestanding. This is just my favorite dinette setup. On all Rockwoods going forward, they're gonna be smart TVs. You can see this is set up with Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus. Um, need a subscription, of course. You need wireless internet. To, to make it work, but you do have smart televisions in the Geo Pros and other Rockwood lines. Also, JBL speaker built into this television. Another change in 2024, the refrigerators. Still a 12 volt, 4.5 cubic foot fridge, but the difference is in the exterior. So instead of the um, stainless steel, you have a glass front 
with the black look to it. Not gonna scratch as easy, not gonna dent as easy. I think it's very practical. It makes a lot of sense to go with this. You're gonna have fewer needs to replace doors because the things aren't getting dented and scratched like they were before, so happy with the change. Not a major difference here, but we have a different uh, solar controller. Just a little different um, way to navigate it, different settings, stuff like that. But it's doing the same thing. It's telling you how much is coming in from the solar, how much your battery, um, how much power is left in your battery or batteries. And set up for lithium or AGM or just uh, flooded um, standard 12 volt RV marine batteries. Works with any of them. Just like the converter can work um, with lithium or uh, any type of battery on there. Here's your controls for the inverter. Now, another change in 2024, Rockwood is going with an 1800 watt inverter instead of a thousand watt like you saw in previous years. The big difference here is it's going to enable you to use some devices that have heating elements, namely coffee maker. So Rockwood was thinking, I want people to be able to use a coffee maker, something like that, when they're using their inverter, when they're boondocking. So 1800 watts, Instead of a thousand watts. You see my past videos, you know I get really excited about these graphics that Rockwood includes with their trailers. I think they're neat. <laughs> I think they're fun. Uh, I like them. Just really quick info. Certainly pause the video and look at that. Um, but I think it's just great. Just quick overview. What's in it? How it's built? What are the fun features? Love it. They've kept the WeRV monitor panel, which I'm happy about. This can be synced up to your phone and you can turn on the lights, put the awning out, put the slide out, check your tanks, all that stuff right from your phone. And I love that you just stand next to it, it turns on, and then you can check your tanks to see how full they are, check your battery, um, water pump, tank heaters. If it gets really cold at night, put your tank heaters on, water heater on gas, water heater on electric, awning, slide controls. Perhaps the most significant change on this 20 BHS specifically is in the bathroom. Before, in the shower, or I should say in the, the tub, there was a sink, remember? It was built right in, right into that part of the shower. Well, no more. Now what Rockwood has done instead is they've added this little guy, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So there's your sink. Now, this is a little different. Um, <laughs> I think if you're on the toilet, it's gonna be a little tight, so you're definitely gonna be off the toilet, and you're gonna be over here, but it is, you know, hooked into the water line, you just turn it on and off over here. Water goes in there. Once it gets to a certain um, height, it's going to just drain over into there. And there is a drain. You can't really see it there, but it's on the other side. You can even lift it up a little bit and the water is going to drain out there. So for those folks that thought the shower sink thing was weird, didn't like it. Tell me what you think about this. I'm interested to see what people think of this. Uh, I haven't gotten any customer feedback yet because this unit literally came in today. So <laughs> I haven't had anybody tell me what they think. Tell me what you think. Do you like this? Do you like the old style? Uh, I'm very curious to see. Now this is small potatoes folks, but for someone like me, uh, that has been doing this for about 15 years and seeing the Rockwoods over the years. These things make me happy, okay? So it's they used to give you a little brown bag and it had all the loose manuals and stuff. Rockwood's got this sharp looking three ring binder. They put all your manuals in here. They got, they got them all, all separated. Oh man, look at that. This is great. And this is something that you can actually like be proud of and you can keep. And then if you ever trade it in the future or sell it to someone, you can give them this really nice manual. I know, not a big deal. I love it though. That makes me happy. Another thing that makes me happy, in all the 2024s we've gotten, Rockwood's including this touch-up kit. So for, like, if you scratch a cabinet, nick, a, nick the cabinet, um, anything like that, you can use these little touch-up things to cover it up. I mean, that's awesome. That's great. That's, that's empowering. That's it's allowing you to keep your, uh, keep your, um, keep your camper in tip-top condition. You want it to look good? I love it. I think that's really great. Thanks, Rockwood. Good job. And of course, the tire pressure monitor, just as always, stay safe on the road, monitors your pressure, and it monitors temperature. All right, let's check out the storage in this unit. Over the bed, you got that netting there. It goes in about a foot. Put some stuff behind there for storage. One big drawer under the bed, and then off to the side of the dinette. Right under the sink, you have that drawer uh, for silverware and then sponges or cleaning supplies. 
under the oven, a little bit extra storage, and above the kitchen sink area. Next to the fridge, you have the option to use this as shelving. You can use it like a pantry, or you can take those top two shelves out and you can hang clothes. Under the bed, you can either access that from the outside like you saw earlier, or you can access it from the inside. Tons of storage under I wanna this take bed. this time to, to mention another change in 2024 is that I like. So instead of these latches that you usually saw on the cabinets, it's magnets, more magnets. So you don't have to have it line up perfectly. It just, it's just a magnet and it's really strong and it's great. And we have new handles, easy to grab, nice metal handles. Man, love it. Good job, Rockwood, I love that. And finally, a little cabinet above the toilet in the bathroom. Let's bring the slide in. All right, with the slide in, you can still get past it. You can get to the bathroom. You can get to the refrigerator now. What about the door? Let's try that. Oh yeah, opens up past there. Fantastic, love that. Get to the bathroom, get to the bunks. You can sleep, get right to this bed. So if you're traveling, you don't have to put the slide out. You really don't uh, to use this unit appropriately. I wanna just zoom in on a couple things here. I love these new <laughs> reading material and you can pause on that just for the 2024s. Sorry about the antifreeze on the top of it, but um, Rockwood's including this with all their units, just showing you some of the key things. A lot of that stuff I've touched on. And this was just a little printout. I got this kind of insider information here on the Rockwoods. Couple things I didn't talk about. Few floor plans are dropped. No more toy hauler geo, no more 19 FBTH. 16 BH is gonna be gone for 2024. Adding five floor plans, bringing back a 12 foot with the outside kitchen, that's interesting. Uh, adding three 15 foot geos and a new 20 FKS, that's cool. Gonna be getting that in a couple of months. I'm sure Rockwood's gonna update their site by September, um, September 1st, I think. But most of the stuff I've talked about already, Feel free to pause, check it out. This 20 VHS is in stock, 2024 VHS, I should say, in stock at Russo's RV in Lakeville, Mass. Have any questions, I will put my email in the description of the video. Link to the webpage, to our webpage, check out pricing. All right, have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching.